Okay, just to give you an idea what it looks like after I've boiled the wax out. So I've softened the wax. I used uh, clean water to eradicate the rest of the wax. I used a little detergent to kind of uh, ensure that there's no wax residue. Uh, at the same time, uh, after eliminating all the wax and the detergent, I applied the denture separator. The denture separator is now hardened. Uh, I had denture separator everywhere. Now, to get underneath these uh, mesh lattice retentions here, I applied uh, copious amounts of separator and then used a compressed air to ensure that there's no separator coagulating underneath those free ends. I'd hate to get that kind of white filmy uh, processed denture underneath from excess amount of uh, denture separator. As well as here on the other side, I've uh, ground in some grooves on the teeth, taking the separator off the teeth, because I did get some on, as well as that ensures me to see if the teeth are secure in the stone. If they're not, then I'll use a small, small, small amount of uh, uh, glue, the cyanacrylate or crazy glue, and then I would uh, glue them into place. But in this case, uh, nothing came separated. Now, I'm not going to trial pack the case. I've mixed up enough for uh, one denture here. Uh, it depends what kind of heat cure acrylic you're using. I think we're using Ivoclar's Pro Base, but even if you're using Lucitone or uh, Meadway or Diamond D or dozens of other brands, Frickies, um, this is a heat cure resin. And I've taken the liberty of pre-mixing it uh, prior to uh, showing you these models they've cooled off. So I've taken it out of the uh, glass vessel. Uh, theoretically, you should use a, a plastic spatula. So those fibers inside the acrylic may be magnetized or uh, even some static electricity to the metal spatula, and then you'll get clumps of fibers uh, joined together in your acrylic. So uh, I'm just gonna make sure I knead it pretty good here uh, to make sure that I don't have that happening. Make sure your hands are obviously very clean. We don't wanna have any debris inside the acrylic. Now, I need a little displacement theory here, I guess. I'm going to apply, maybe on like, like a full denture, uh, I'll apply in all four sections. Again, no trial packing, so I gotta ensure I have enough acrylic, which I think I can uh, manage that. I've mixed enough for a full denture, which is, leaves me plenty of leftover. And now all I need is to put these two together. I'm gonna put it under the hydraulic compress, uh, under 100 bar, slowly. As you can see, the acrylic, when I was taking it apart, is very, uh, let's say snappy to use that term. Uh, it's not that stringy business. So I'm going to put this in the clamp. I'm going to put in the curing unit and then we'll reconvene for uh, deflasking and trimming.